Hello and welcome once again to the channel. So there's been a lot of rumours and leaks over the last few months about the arrival of the DJI Mini 3. So as you're aware most of this is just speculation at the moment but as the Mavic 3 rumours started mainly by Jasper Ellens and Aceta LB they're been pretty much spot on with their predictions in the past. So first of all let's look at the pattern of the drone releases and see if it's feasible for there to be a release this April or May. So November 2019 Mavic Mini, April 2020 Mavic Air 2, November 2020 Mini 2, April 2021 DJI Air 2S, of which I fly as I'm sure you're all aware now, November 2021 Mavic 3, and April, May 2022, is this going to be the Mini 3? I would say looking at these patterns, it's quite likely that there could be a release April or May of this year. So the leak started back in December 2021 with the leak photo from Aceta LV and Deals Drone, where you can clearly see a so-called road map of, well, of what's expected in April of this year. This was closely followed by blueprint of the proposed Mini 3. On this so-called blueprint, you can see the proposed specs being a carbon fiber design and a different styling of the arms. Should this be the case, carbon fiber doesn't really come cheap. So this could lead, uh, well, to a big price increase in manufacturing. You can see that it's proposed that the arms would be sloped like the Mavic 3, which possibly could mean that the props could be of a bigger size, uh, in which turn this could possibly give extra lift and better speed from the motors. The new proposed bigger sensor of a 1 over 1.28 at f1.8, a 50 megapixel camera with a focal length of 24 millimeters. But this has now been changed, which I will come on to shortly in the video. I don't see anything referencing the video quality, but a 4K60 would be nice. Remember, DJI would have to improve all of these features uh, from the Mini 2 as Autel releasing their Nano series has given them some strong competition. So moving on to the latest leaks, you can see in this latest leak picture a lot of different spec to what was originally proposed. My take on this is probably fake. Or what's your opinions? You can see they are proposing a pro version with what looks like a pro controller which at the moment only connects to the Mavic 3 and of course the Air 2S. It kind of looks overly photoshopped with what you can see here. Well, the screen's offset slightly. I could be wrong and it would be nice as a package, but why would they release the Mavic 3 with a standard controller, you might ask? Unless you buy the Cine Pro version at $5,000. The shape at the front is looking like the gimbal could be moving and shooting a more upward direction. Some YouTubers have suggested that the camera will be shooting vertically as well. Who knows? Here's some of the suggested specs summarised from Deals Drone. A 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor. F1.7 large aperture. A gimbal tilted at a large angle allowing to shoot upwards. A camera supporting vertical mode, as I've just said. Three directional obstacle avoidance. Well, yeah, I suppose forward, backwards and downwards. Active track mode. O3 transmission system. A new remote control with a built-in screen, as I've just said. So two things here. Will there be a standard release and a pro version? So looking at the proposed specs, we can see a 1 over 1.3 CMOS sensor, as I've just said and maybe a 20 megapixel camera. Forward and rear sensors, as I've just mentioned, and an increase of three to 4% on the battery time, an OkiSync 3.0. I think the shape of the drone is, well, in my opinion, a little far-fetched and ugly. However, only DJI could, in my opinion, design a drone like this. You can see in the latest leaked rumor, a cage of the proposed drone, which kind of matches the latest box photo. You can see the front cut out where the gimbal would sit. So in my opinion, the Mini 3 needs to have at least an half inch sensor, 4K 60 FPS, 
and hopefully more than a 12 megapixel camera. Having said that, the Mini 2 does a fantastic job at 12 megapixels. Hyperlapse would also be nice if they were to add this. What's your thoughts? Conclusion? Well, collision sensors? I think forward and rear sensors added to the bottom sensor is a must, which leads on to active track. So, active track, I think most of you would like to see this on the Mini 3. To be honest, as most of you know, I have the Air 2S and I have only used active track on a handful of times. So it's not something that would be on my wish list, but don't get me wrong, it would be a nice addition. Pricing. Well, you have to consider that it's going to be somewhere between the Mini 2 and the Air 2S. The Mini 2 eh, on average is about £500 in the UK and the Air 2S that's retailing at around about well just over the thousand pound marks now I think twelve hundred pound for the combo so probably in line with the Autel Nano range so we could probably be looking at 799 possibly maybe slightly higher I think with the release of the SDK for the Mini 2 and the third party apps now available I think it's fair to assume that there'll be a release very soon so there we go, a quick rundown of the latest leaks. What are your thoughts? Real or fake? Or is it on the cards for next month, possibly May? Let me know in the comments below and what your thoughts are. One final point to consider. The latest firmware update for the Mini 2. Now I've had no problems with it whatsoever. But I know a lot of you guys out there have. So is that the last update for the Mini 2? Was there something in there to bias you for a newer model? Who knows? So, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful, enjoyable. If you have, don't forget, give it the thumbs up, because that really helps the video. And if you've not seen the firmware update video, you can see this by clicking this card just here. And you might find that this video is useful as well. Thanks for watching. Let's hope for a positive future for the Mini 3. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.